Hi everyone, Dr. Nemechek here. I just want to go over on kind of our basic understanding of how to boost immunity, okay? And one, if you have a normal immune system, you can't boost it better than normal. It just won't happen, all right? And so, but what are the circumstances where you can boost immunity? Now, you've got certain medical conditions where you're on chemotherapy or uh, immunosuppressants like steroid, uh, even some of these drugs we're using for like Crohn's and ulcerative colitis and psoriatic arthritis and stuff, these drugs all suppress immune function. So one way is to stop the drugs, but that's often not practical, okay? When people, especially when they're like, I've got a cold, I want to boost my immunity. Supplements don't do it. Zinc, vitamin C stuff, I'm sorry, it does not, there's no evidence whatsoever this stuff boosts your immunity. And it's really, people like, I feel better. Well, they may have something else in there that stimulates you a little bit and you feel like a little perked up, like some caffeine or different uh, theanine or who knows, you know, ginkgo, different things they put in there that'll act like caffeine, but it's not that your immunity's boost, okay? So basically, if it's not a drug problem, what issues are there? One is severe malnutrition, severe malnutrition. Now, this is where zinc comes into play, right? I'm talking severe malnutrition. I'm not like, I just don't eat right, okay? Zinc deficiency is a fundamentally rare thing in America, okay? And so taking zinc is not going to help boost your immunity, right? Think of like third world level malnutrition. And really the major and really common thing is chronic inflammation that I constantly talk about. Inflammation, which is a overactive but indirect or inappropriately targeted immune response, chronic inflammation, suppresses immune function. We know this. This is like in HIV. We first thought the virus was the thing that was actually directly destroying a patient's immune system. What we found out was the virus was triggering a really high level of inflammation and it was the inflammation that was destroying their immune response, making them have a low immune response, okay? And then when you lowered the inflammation, their immune response elevated okay and this is called immune reconstitution syndrome because sometimes you get sick i see this in our patients they got a lot of inflammation whether their kids are adults they got a lot of inflammation and we put them on the protocol balance their gut fish oil olive oil vagal stimulator all that kind of stuff we lower the inflammation we heard countless adults will say boy in a week or two i, I kind of got this toothache and we tell them just hang in there don't run to the dentist and what happened was their immune system turned on and cleaned up a little pocket of infection and it goes away. We've had people with, I had a gentleman who had a cyst on his back for like 30 years. We started on the protocol. He said the thing suddenly turned red, opened, drained, and healed finally. After 30 years. Okay. We see the same thing in the kids. And uh, actually a lot of people say, I really don't even get sick anymore. And what happens is, they have better immune function. They're coming in contact with viruses and things, but they're able to very quickly kind of mount an immune response before the virus can cause any if, if uh, symptoms whatsoever. So you want to improve your immune function. Drugs are not part of the condition. It's not a malnutrition thing. You know, vitamins and zinc and this vitamin C stuff will not help. You need to look for sources of inflammation and lower the inflammation. All right, that's all for today. Take care, bye.